Hello everyone and welcome to my Fluttershy Wing Demo video. This is Britt the Badger and in this video we'll be going over how my Fluttershy Wings are put together and work. I'll be starting out with the fiberglass back plate. Here you can see the strap that goes around my torso and it is attached through these slots. It's just made of nylon and once it's through the slots it is folded back upon itself and pinned into place. Next, there are the backpack straps that go over my shoulders, and the wings themselves are attached to these flanges and are pinned in place with the pins as seen to keep them from untwisting from the threading. This here is the left wing, and I'm going to go through the three main joints that make up the wing. First is the ball joint at the shoulder, it gives a lot of base movement. Then there's a hinge joint at the elbow which gives it that same elbow motion as your own. And lastly, there's another ball joint at the wrist, which mimics your own wrist movement. And it gives a lot of potential for different posings. So to attach the wings themselves to the back plate, I loosen up the shoulder joint, and then I start screwing it on to the flange on the back piece. making sure that the, the joint is super loose is good so that it has that full movement and ease so it doesn't get stuck. Once it's on, I do a little bit of tweaking to line up the holes for the pin and get the pin to go through all the holes. It takes a little bit of fiddling and there you have it. It's not going to go anywhere and I can pose the shoulder joint as I like. With the wings now attached to the back plate, it's easier to see the wing anatomy. Here are the primary feathers on the hand bones, secondary feathers along the radius and ulna, and the tertiary feathers along the humerus. Here you can see the primary coverts, secondary coverts, and tertiary coverts. Now what's unique about these wings is the skin membrane that I've attached from the humerus to the wrist joint. It's much like a chicken wing when you're eating it and you have that stretchy wing membrane. So it's just made up of a stretchy knit fabric with feathers over it with a string of elastic along that top line. This design makes for a lightweight but sturdy wing. Here I'm going to show some up close uh, posing tips. So here we've got the shoulder joint. You can see the amount of uh, versatility and movement you can get out of that and then the ball joint for the wrist joint I'm just kind of toying with it and seeing what looks good and lastly there is a radius and ulna rotation to line that up with the primaries here's the other wing just doing another fun pose moving the shoulder joint extending the elbow and then tweaking the wrist joint a bit, and voila! A very dynamic and cool pose. Now I'm going to show the process of putting on and posing the wings. Here Ian's helping me with putting on the harness, and you can see the wings are all folded up, and it's really useful for just walking through conventions when they're posed like this. They're really compact, narrower than my shoulders, and with Ian walking behind me, I haven't had any troubles with people knocking into them or me accidentally knocking into someone else. Now that the harness is on, I'm going to turn to let Ian pose the wing in an upward position. So right now he's fiddling with the shoulder joint and the wrist joint mostly. And he's extending everything and twisting. And then the final touch is to move the secondaries to match up with the primaries. And for the second wing, Ian's going to be posing it um, closer to just an outward position, like it's just spread. So he's just fiddling with things, moving the, s the secondaries, and then he's just tweaking the final shoulder angle and tightening that up. And there we have it. So one wing out and one wing up. 
When the wings are fully extended, they are a little longer than my own arm span, and I'm about five foot two, so that puts their wingspan at about five and a half feet. Here's a second pose where they are more or less symmetrical. I can do a little tweak if I need to, and I think they look pretty good. Here are a couple of pictures of the wings in action at Emerald City Comic Con. This first picture is by Darkane Multimedia with the sun in the background, and this picture is by Lucid Visual Photography. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to creating more. So thank you.